Niin pitää sitten muitenkin, muitakin haastatella kuin näitä kotimaan ukkoja. Niitä näkee tuolla kadulla joka päivä. Welcome Jörg and Jens. Thank you. You yeah, promised welcome. me that yeah, we could moi moi. do this interview in Finnish. Is it okay? I, I don't think it's a good we idea. We can talk about better. What was it? I, it's, a, it's not a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Our, our Finnish is very limited, so to speak. Okay, let's Still. talk. Let's talk about your record. Actually, I heard Jörg that you were quite shocked when you saw this these dolphins here. What was the reason? Who told you that? Little birds. Little birds. <laughs> um, I wouldn't call it shocked, you know. You know, my evil little metal heart, you know, seeing the dolphins jumping around on that Especially cover. Especially this little one here. <laughs> yeah, the but, baby. Uh, <laughs> That's now, like a baby I mean, dolphin, you know. Stratovarius never have been used to uh, do all this blood slaughter, warrior, super image on their covers, you know. Actually, I was more shocked seeing the Destiny cover the first time. Who was that? With, with the woman and the uh, angel Gabriel. And uh, nowadays, you know, I think it's one of my favorites, actually. I like the Destiny cover so much. So when I saw this the first time, I had to smoke a cigarette and let it sink mm. down a bit. But now I like it very, very much, especially when Timo Tolki explained me what he actually uh, meant with it. I think it's a very, very, very good idea. And the first time I saw it, it was half ready. It was not like that. Okay. So we have now this evil bit here, okay. with the oil and... And now you're satisfied so with I'm it. So I'm a little bit more, Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay and then uh, something about music. You have made one song to this record. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. and actually you have made four songs, but there's only one. What's the reason? I think actually it was five songs to start with, but oh, I guess they, they just dropped off one after one for various reasons. But I think they're going to be used for like other territories maybe, you know, like uh, South America and France. We're gonna use a couple, and I think also on this bonus CD, which is on this in this box here, it seems like one of them ended up on that too. I mean, okay. I don't really know what happens. I just write them, and then whatever happens, happens. You know, you have to. Uh, anyway, almost all of these songs are made by Timo Tolki. So, do you think that uh, Timo has a clue what you're doing in your future, and especially now in your music? If think he thinks so, yeah. about the future already. Is that the question? I don't think that he knows already what he is writing on the next record, but I mean Stratovarius is his band. Since 84 he's writing songs for the band and they are all of course in the Stratovarius area. I think he's bringing out now a solo record where he might uh, put up other ideas and uh, but we see what anyway comes. Like I mean the next album we are just releasing this one now, so it's really hard to see in the future. Okay. I think you're satisfied with this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. very much, very much. Yeah, yeah, very much. I mean, the whole band is very satisfied. I mean, yeah. since we are in the band, like since episode, it's 95 or 96, you know. I think all are great records. I even loved Stratovarius before, like on Dreamspace, one of my favorite albums. It's very old already. Yeah, it's very nice, very satisfied, happy. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you're going to make a tour in Europe in this spring and then you're going to Japan. Do you think that it's a more challenging to play, for example, in Japan or in Europe? Do you have any... I think Japan is challenging for, for the simple reason that I think the audience don't respond. They're very polite there. So you, you have, it's harder to, to uh, have an indication of what they actually think because they just clap for a few seconds and then they're like waiting for the next thing to happen. So I think European audiences are more boisterous, so to speak. Yeah, but I mean, it's also in Europe, it's different, like the touring in Sweden or touring in Spain or Italy, you know, you have also different mentalities there. Mm -hmm. But in comparison to Japan, he's completely right, you know, yeah. it's very challenging to play there and get them going, yeah. And you're also going to make a one gig with Iron Maiden next uh, summer, I heard. I think it's probable gig, yeah. I don't know if it's completely 100%. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's not 100% confirmed yet, but uh, there was actually Dynamo. Two, right? Yeah, two, yeah. Dynamo. In Holland. In, in Holland, and actually they didn't get the field. So they put the whole thing indoor now, so they had to cancel about 20 or 30 bands. And it's not confirmed if we will be one of the eight who are actually supporting this Iron Maiden thing. But we definitely will be with Holford and Iron Maiden playing Artefact Festival in France near Strasbourg. Yeah. How did you say Strasbourg? Strasbourg. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're better than that. Strasbourg. <laughs> Strasbourg. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, no, we are running out of time, but anyway, Already? thank you so much for oh, being no here. No problem. Our oh, pleasure. Yeah, yeah.